Hi there and welcome to Flyfish TX. Today we're going to tie our second fly. The first fly that we did was the redfish crack fly. That's been a couple of weeks ago I guess. Uh, but definitely go check it out and uh, give it a try. Today we're going to tie, of all things, it's going to sound crazy I know, you probably learned how to tie this when you got your fly fishing membership card, is the woolly booger. Not woolly booger. It sounds fun to say booger. Actually you kind of think about it. <laughs> Look at that trout. It's eating a booger. Now, actually, we're going to tie the woolly bugger fly. And there's many variations to this fly. Um, we're going to tie a real simple one. You might be asking, why in the world are we tying a woolly bugger? Well, a lot of people think it's strictly a rainbow trout fly or a trout fly. And in essence, Knuckles and I have been using this fly, uh, gosh, throughout the year for uh, everything from bluegill to uh, bass and uh, rainbow trout. We've done it all in one day actually up on Lower Mountain Fork. So anyway, kick back, relax, and uh, check it out. All right, well this is a real simple fly. We're going to tie this one in uh, an all white pattern, or pattern, colors. So first thing we do is we've got to get our uh, thread on here. Alright, now we're going to take some white marabou, just a little pinch. Oh, and by the way, we're using a um, size 6 2X streamer hook. Alright, got a little bit of marabou here. That might be a little too much actually. Kind of thin it out a little bit. Still might be a little bit too much, but for this exercise, it gets the point across. So let's go ahead and tie in a little tail. Snip off the excess. Just like that. A wrap or two on there. All right. Next, some white saddle hackle. In case you're curious, there's a lot of variations to this. You can use um, like some lead wire, like some um, .02, like this right here and you can wrap that around the shank of the hook to add some weight to it. If you want to put some weight on the front of it, you can use a little um, oh, Cyclops beads, like these right here. And you can put those on as well. Um, if you have any questions about any of that, definitely give us a shout. I'm more than happy to help you out. So, kind of teasing the hackle a little bit. Again, guys, I'm not the, the best fly tire in the whole wide world, but have fun doing it. Definitely a good, good chance to sit around and talk smack. We're going to go ahead and tie that in real quick. And the next thing we're going to do, we're going to add some chenille. And this is just um, white chenille in a medium size. If I can get it off the package. It's got a little flake in it. Kind of a retro 70s look going here. So, and you can use different sizes. We use um, some of our woolly boogers are on like size 2, 2X, using like a larger chenille size. There we go. Got that tied in. Go ahead and bring your thread forward. Then we're going to take our chenille and wrap it. Off an, or cut an awful lot of this chenille off. It's enough for a couple of flies. I think almost a dozen. Bring that up here to the front. Cut off the excess. 
Now I'm going to take my heckle pliers and I'm going to wrap this and bring it to the front. If you noticed, I tied in the very end of the tail first and I'm using the fatter part as I come forward which kind of gives it more of a bushy look and again like I said earlier this fly can be used not only for for trout which a lot of people think this is strictly a trout fly which you know that's where I learned about the woolly booger but um, we've caught many panfish on this and, uh, and a lot of bass. There we go. Take that little guy. Go ahead and just kind of pull that back. We'll put a little bit of a head on this. Like that. And we'll whip finish it. Whoop. go. We have your plain Jane, plain old white woolly booger. And if you want to say woolly booger, it's fun. So definitely give it a try. Next time you're out fishing with your buddies and you're fishing with one, I would definitely yell, I caught that fish on a woolly booger and uh, see what they say. So anyway, if you enjoyed this, uh, definitely leave us a comment or if you didn't like it, I guess you can still leave us a comment uh, and like our channel or subscribe to our channel. So, uh, peace out.